You have several options when sorting data. So let's look at sorting this data here by last name. So I'm going to click on the little caret next to the column B header, left click and click on sort sheet A to Z. Notice what happened to my header. It also sorted with the data. So let's undo. We're going to freeze that top row by left clicking on this dark gray button in the upper left corner and dragging down and now our top row is frozen. So when I go to sort again by last name, it keeps that header at the top. So I want to sort this data in ABC order. So all sixth grade students are at the top together, then seventh and eighth graders, but in alphabetical order. Now you'll notice I have two students with the same last name. So I want to make sure that they're in ABC order as well with their first name. So in order to do this data, I need to first sort the first name column. So I come up here to the top and I choose to sort sheet A to Z. Now I want to do column B. I'm going to show you a different way. I'm going to make sure I have my cell in column B chosen and I'll come up to the data menu and notice it automatically selects column B is what I want to sort because that's one of the cells I have selected. But we're going to come back here to the column header because that's faster. So we're going to finish with sorting the grade A to Z. Even though those are not letters, A to Z will do lowest to highest for numbers. So now if you look, all my sixth graders are at the top, then the seventh graders, and notice they're in ABC order by last name, but also the ones with the same last name are in ABC order as well. So let's go ahead and undo and show you a different way that you can do that where you can sort all three columns at one time. So I need to select all this data. I can either use the select all cell in the upper left hand corner or I can highlight just these columns that I want to sort. Then I come up to data and I have sort sheet at the top. I have sort range, but I also have a sort range option here. So let's select this. At the top, I'm going to check that I do have a header row. And now I have to think backwards on this. Because if I sort this by first name, last name, and grade the way we just did it, it actually does it backwards from what we want. So we need to start the opposite direction. So remember that when you use this option to sort data. So we're going to come in and we're going to choose grade first. Then we're going to choose last name. Then we're going to choose first name. Then we click sort. Now you can see last time we did it one column at a time, this time we did all three at the same time and it gave us the exact same results. So I just want to warn, notice that John Darling sixth grader is our top line. Be very careful that if you select a column like this and you come up to data and you choose to sort the range this way, it's only going to sort column B. So what happens as soon as we click this, Notice now this changed to John Black. So you need to be very careful. There are times you might have data where you are able to sort just a range like this, but you want to be careful when you're doing data where obviously we don't want the student information to get sorted away from each other. So we want to keep everything together. So you need to make sure that you're very careful when you choose range. So just keep in mind that you have several different options when choosing to sort information.